everyone, this is MJ. I'm so excited you've joined me for my countdown to Christmas featuring MJ's Merry Minis. I've designed 25 Christmas ornaments and each one will release from December 1st through to December 25th. And you'll be able to find the pattern for free on my blog on the ornaments release day. Now I'm hosting a crochet along over in my Facebook community group and the link will be in the description box if you want to join in and post your pictures. If you'd rather not wait for all 25 ornaments to release, I've decided to put together a beautifully designed ebook featuring all 25 crochet ornaments. You can purchase the ebook through the link in my description box. Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to make the simple mini stocking that's part of my MJ's Merry Mini collection. So I am using a four millimeter G crochet hook with Wool of the Andes worsted weight yarn. You'll wanna use two colors for this stocking. And here's a few other supplies that you'll need, a yarn needle. You can either use an ornament hook for hanging on the tree, or I'll show you an alternative way you can hang with a few wooden beads. So we're gonna begin with Dove Heather, which is a nice light gray and a magic ring. So let's put the hook through all three loops, grabbing the first loop, pulling it through, and chain one. Now I'd like you to loosely work six single crochet in the ring. Now we'll pull the ring tight. So you start pulling your tail, you'll see one loop come in, just grab that loop and it's gonna pull the other loop tight. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna slip stitch into the first single crochet to join and chain one. Now we'll work two single crochet into every stitch around. One, so just continue working two single crochet in every stitch around we're increasing to 12 stitches and now we'll slip stitch in the first single crochet to join chain one and we'll do another increase round. So we're gonna work one single crochet and then two single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet and then two in the next. And we'll repeat that all the way around. So now we're gonna slip stitch to join and we're gonna change color on our slip stitch. Pull that through. You want to give your tails a good tug. And then we'll chain two. And we'll begin working. You can actually trim. Let's trim off the gray. We're going to begin working half double crochets. So work a half double crochet in every stitch around and you should have 18 stitches in total. Now we'll slip stitch to join and chain two. And then we'll work half double crochets in every stitch. Okay, so you wanna complete a total of four rounds just working half double crochets into every stitch around. So these four rounds are all the same. So I'm gonna complete my four rounds off camera and then I'll meet you up. Okay, so I've completed my four rounds. I'm gonna slip stitch to join, chain two, and then I'm gonna work a total of 12 half doubles. Okay, 
Okay, and then we're gonna chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're the heel opening, and then we're just gonna slip stitch to join. And chain two. And then we'll work a half double crochet into every stitch. So I'll work around to the chain and then meet you up there. Now when you get to the chain, we're gonna work half double crochets across them, but you can work in the back humps of the chain. So you wanna make sure you get all six and just work into the back hump. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so I have six and now we'll slip stitch in the top of the first half double crochet to join. And now we'll just go back to working 18 half double crochets into every stitch around. And see how quick and simple this little stocking is to make up. And you can do it in whatever color you want to match your decor. You can add it as a present topper, add some little candies, lots of different options. Make them in your children's favorite colors or colors to match your Christmas theme. So I'm just going to continue working around in rounds till I have about six rounds in total from our heel opening. Okay, so I've worked a total of six rounds from my opening. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got one, two, three, four, and then we have six up above here. So now what we're going to do on our slip stitch join is we're going to change back to the gray. contrast color and we're going to just trim off the other color we don't need that anymore and I'm going to chain up nine and then a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and single crochet all the way down the chain. So we're gonna end up with a total of eight stitches. And then when you get all the way down, you're gonna skip that first stitch and then slip stitch into the next two. Turn, and then we're gonna work in the back loop only of each stitch across. chain one and turn and work back down one single crochet in the back loop only of every stitch across okay so you're sticking with eight stitches it's a good idea to count them four five six seven eight and slip stitch into the next two Okay, and we're just going to keep repeating this now all the way around until you have all of your spaces here slip stitched into. 
should have a total of 18 rows of this ribbing. So I'm gonna keep working this now off camera and I'll meet you up for the seaming at the end. So now all you need to do is slip stitch, go through this side and the back loop only of this side. chain and the back loop only. And just do that all the way along. Okay, and then you can fasten off and weave in that end. going to flip down. So now what we're going to do is work on the heel. So let's just flatten this out like this. And you're going to count over one, two, three, and into the fourth. And now with the gray, chain one and we're going to work across three stitches one two three we'll do a stitch in the corner and then we're going to do six across here and we'll do one in the corner And then one, two, three. Slip stitch to join. So we should have a total now of 14 stitches. And we're gonna do some decreases on this round. So one, two, and then go through the front loop of the next three, yarn over, pull through all three loops, yarn over, pull through two. One, two, three. Four, and then three, and then front loops of the next three, pull through three loops, and then one, two, and slip stitch to join. Passing that off, take our yarn needle, and weave through the front loops of every stitch around. Okay, so now to finish it off, I'm gonna take a piece of twine And you can just string 
a couple beads. And then you can just tie a knot. And there's your little mini stocking complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and tap that bell to stay updated on new videos and tutorials. Come back tomorrow so that you can watch our next tutorial in our MJ's Mary mini collection. Thanks so much, everyone. Have an awesome day.